Collins, it's been so long. Years have passed, and still, there's no child. Every time I think about it, I can't help but wonder, what if this is our fate? What if we're meant to remain childless? Is there something we've done wrong? Are we being punished? Diana, my love, there's nothing we've done to deserve this, and we're not being punished. Sometimes, sometimes the journey is just longer than we expect. But that doesn't mean we're lost or forgotten. God's plan is greater than we can see, and His timing, well, it's perfect, even when it doesn't seem that way to us. But Collins, it's so hard. Every day, I see other women with their children, and I wonder why I'm not one of them. Why hasn't God answered our prayers? Why does He make us wait when all we want is to love and nurture a child? Remember Sarah, in the Bible? She waited for years, even laughed when God said she would bear a son in her old age. She lost hope, just like you're feeling now. But God didn't forget her, and He won't forget us either. He fulfilled His promise to Sarah, even when it seemed impossible. And I believe, with all my heart, that He has a plan for us too. But what if, what if this is His way of telling us that a child isn't meant for us? What if this is all there will ever be for us? Collins, do you think God forgives and forgets our past sins? Maybe, our past is the reason we're suffering like this? Diana, don't let fear and doubt steal our hope. God is in control, even when we can't see the way forward. We have to trust Him, even when it's hard, especially when it's hard. We'll keep praying, and we'll keep believing. And no matter what, we'll face this together, with faith in our hearts. Diana, God forgives us, completely and without reservation. His love and mercy are beyond what we can comprehend. But sometimes, we still have to bear the consequences of our actions. That doesn't mean He loves us any less or that He's punishing us. It's just the nature of the choices we've made. But even in that, He's with us, guiding us, and giving us strength to carry on. Pastor, we've been trying to have a child for years now, and though it's been difficult, I still believe that God will bless us in His time. I know there's nothing wrong with me medically, so I'm confident it will happen. But, Diana has been struggling more with this. It's just. I can't help but feel like we've been abandoned. I see others with their children, and I wonder why God hasn't blessed us yet. What if, what if this is because of something in my past? Before we go further, let me ask you both something important. Have you been keeping any secrets from each other? Secrets that could be weighing on your hearts, perhaps without realizing it? No, Pastor. I've been completely open with Diana. There's nothing I've kept from her. She knows everything there is to know about me. I haven't kept anything from Collins either, Pastor. We've been through this together, sharing everything. I wouldn't hide anything from him. It's good to hear that you both are being honest with each other. In times of trial, transparency and trust are essential. I'm glad to know you're facing this together, with open hearts. The journey you're on is difficult, but remember that God's timing is perfect. He knows the desires of your hearts, and He is faithful. But Pastor, what if we're meant to wait forever? What if, what if God's plan doesn't include a child for us? Diana, God's plans are always for our good, even when we can't see it. Waiting is one of the hardest things we're called to do, but it's in that waiting that our faith is tested and strengthened. God hears your prayers, and He understands your pain. Trust that His timing is perfect, even if it's different from what you hope for. Keep praying, keep supporting each other, and be patient. His blessings will come, in His way and in His time. We'll keep waiting, Pastor. I believe that God hasn't forgotten us. That's the spirit, Collins. Continue to trust in Him and lean on each other. Your faith and your love for one another are your greatest strengths. Keep those close, and remember, God is always with you, guiding your steps. Diana, you know I care about you, and I wouldn't keep saying this if I didn't think it was important. 
You need to tell Collins the truth. Keeping this secret from him is only going to make things worse. He deserves to know everything, don't you think? Paula, I just... I don't know how to tell him. What if it changes everything? What if he can't forgive me? Diana, you can't live in fear of the what-ifs. Marriage is built on trust and honesty. Collins loves you, and he deserves to know the truth, no matter how painful it might be. Secrets like this, they have a way of coming out eventually, and when they do, it's usually much worse. You need to be the one to tell him, before someone else does. I know you're right, but I'm terrified, Paula. What if this breaks us? I've worked so hard to put the past behind me, to build a new life with Collins, but this secret, it's like a shadow that won't go away. I understand how scared you are. But think about how much harder it will be if Collins finds out from someone else. You have to trust that he loves you enough to handle the truth. It's not going to be easy, but it's the right thing to do. You've been carrying this burden alone for too long. I want to tell him, I really do, but I don't know if I have the strength to face what might happen next. You're stronger than you think, Diana. And you won't be facing it alone. I'm here for you, and more importantly, so is God. Remember what Pastor said about trusting in God's timing? Maybe this is the time you need to trust Him fully, by being honest with Collins. And Diana, think about your future with Collins. How long can you carry this secret before it starts to eat away at your marriage, at your happiness? It's already causing you so much pain. Do you really want to continue living with this weight on your shoulders? I don't. I hate this feeling of always looking over my shoulder, worrying that one day he'll find out, and it'll all come crashing down. But I've kept this hidden for so long, I don't know how to even begin telling him. You start by being honest with yourself. Admit that this secret is part of your past, but it doesn't define your future. Collins loves you for who you are now, not who you were then. If you come to him with honesty and humility, he'll understand. You have to believe that. I want to believe that, Paula. But I'm so afraid of losing everything we've built together. He's my whole world, what if he can't forgive me? Forgiveness is a journey, Diana, not a single moment. It may be difficult at first, but love covers a multitude of sins. If Collins truly loves you, and I believe he does, he'll find a way to forgive. But you have to give him that chance. Hiding the truth is only prolonging the inevitable. You're right, Paula. I can't keep running from this. I will just think of a way to deal with this. Diana, you're stronger than you know, and I'm here for you every step of the way. Whatever happens, you're not alone. Thank you, Paula. I don't know what I'd do without you. You don't have to find out. I'll always be here, no matter what. And remember, God is with you too. Pray for the strength to do what's right, and He'll guide you through it. Is that really you? Collins. My old friend. It's been so long. How have you been? Too long, my friend. I've been great, busy, but life's treating me well. What brings you here? I never expected to run into you in this city. Just moved here with my family. Needed a fresh start, you know? And who's this lovely lady by your side? This is my wife. Diana. We've been married for a few years now. Diana, this is Tony, an old friend from way back in my college days. We used to get into all sorts of trouble together. Nice to meet you, Tony. Wait a minute. Do you two already know each other? The way you both reacted just now, it's like you've met before. No, no, we've never met. Not actually. 
Diana just, reminds me of someone I used to know a long time ago. But I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Well, it's a small world, right? So, you've moved here with your family? That's great news. How are they settling in? I remember you used to talk about wanting to live in a big city. Yeah, we're all settling in pretty well. It's a big change from where we were before, but it's been good for us. The kids are loving their new school, and my wife is really enjoying the city. It's hectic, but in a good way. We needed this change, you know? That's awesome, Tony. I'm really glad to hear that things are going well for you and your family. We should definitely catch up properly sometime soon. Maybe you can come over for dinner? I'd love for you to get to know Diana better, and we can reminisce about the old days. That sounds like a plan, Collins. It'd be nice to sit down and see where life's taken us. A lot has changed since our wild college days, huh? You can say that again. We've all grown up, I suppose. But it's good to know some things never change, like good friends catching up after years apart. Diana, are you okay? You've been really quiet since we ran into Tony. Did something about that bother you? I'm fine, Collins. Just, a little tired, I guess. It's been a long day. All right. Just relax, then. We can take it easy for the rest of the day. You're late, Diana. I don't appreciate being kept waiting. You know better than that. Tony, please. I couldn't get away any sooner. This, this has to stop. You can't keep calling me like this, demanding to meet. It's tearing me apart. You think I'm enjoying this, Diana? You think I want to keep dragging you out like this? No, but you've left me no choice. You know what I want, and until I get it, these little meetings aren't going to stop. I can't keep doing this, Tony. I can't keep lying to Collins, sneaking around like this every time you call. It's eating me alive. Why are you doing this? Why can't you just let it go? Why? Because the past doesn't just disappear, Diana. You don't get to run away from it and pretend it never happened. So, have you got the money? I don't have it, Tony. I told you before, I can't just come up with that kind of money on a whim. Please, Tony, you have to stop this. Everything that happened between us, it's in the past now. I've moved on. You need to move on too. In the past? Maybe for you, Diana. But not for me. I've got bills to pay, responsibilities. And right now, you're my best option to take care of those. So, I suggest you start figuring out how to get that money, or things are going to get real uncomfortable for you. Tony, please. I'm begging you. This isn't right. You know it isn't. I've changed. I'm not that person anymore and I can't keep living like this, trapped by the mistakes we made. Oh, I know you've changed, Diana. All settled into your nice little life with Collins, playing the perfect wife. But the thing is, I haven't changed. I still remember everything. And if you don't want Collins finding out, you'd better figure out a way to get me what I need. Why are you doing this? Why now? We both made mistakes, but this isn't the answer. You have a family now. Can't you see what you're doing? What I see is an opportunity, Diana. And I'm not letting it slip through my fingers. You think you've escaped your past, but you haven't. And until you give me what I want, I'm going to make sure you never forget that. Tony, I don't have the money. I've tried, but it's not that simple. Please, don't do this. There has to be another way. Another way? There is no other way, Diana. You either find the money, or I go straight to Collins. You think he won't want to know who he's really married to? I give you one week. After that, I make the call. Tony, please. You're destroying everything I've built. You're ruining my life. Your life? 
You're worried about your life? Find money, or I'll make sure Collins knows every dirty little secret you've tried so hard to hide. Tony, I... I can't. One week, Diana. Don't make me wait. Diana, you look like you haven't slept in days. What's going on? I can tell something's been weighing heavily on you. Paula, I've been living in a nightmare. It's Tony, he's found me, and he's been blackmailing me. I feel like I'm suffocating. Tony? The Tony from your past? What is he doing here? Why is he blackmailing you now, after all this time? I don't know, Paula. I thought I'd left that part of my life behind, but he's back, and he's demanding money. He's threatened to tell Collins everything if I don't pay him. I've been trying to handle it on my own, but I'm falling apart. Oh, Diana. I had no idea. How long has this been going on? Why didn't you tell me sooner? It started after we ran into him at the mall. I didn't know what to do, Paula. I was so scared. I thought maybe if I just kept quiet, I could find a way out of this on my own. But it's only gotten worse. He's relentless. I'm drowning, Paula. I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Diana, you can't go through this alone. This is too much for anyone to handle by themselves. You need to tell Collins. He deserves to know the truth, and he can help you. But what if he can't forgive me, Paula? What if this destroys our marriage? I've worked so hard to keep this part of my life buried. I don't want to lose him. I can't lose him. I understand, Diana, but you're risking everything by keeping this from him. If Tony's serious about his threats, and it sounds like he is, Collins is going to find out sooner or later. It's better he hears it from you than from Tony or someone else. You owe it to him to be honest. But how do I even begin to tell him, Paula? How do I look him in the eye and confess everything? The lies, the secrets. I'm terrified of what he'll think of me. Diana, Collins loves you. He married you for better or worse, remember? Yes, it's going to be hard, and yes, he might be hurt, even angry. But he deserves the truth, and you deserve a chance to put this behind you once and for all. The longer you wait, the harder it's going to be. Every time I think about telling him, my heart feels like it's going to burst. I can't imagine the look on his face when he finds out. He might be shocked, and it's going to be difficult, but Collins is a good man. He loves you, Diana, and that love will help him find a way to forgive you. But you have to give him that chance. Keeping this secret is only going to tear you apart, and it's already doing that. I know you're right, Paula. I just... I don't know if I have the courage to face him. What if this is the end of everything I've built with him? It's not going to be the end, Diana. It might be the start of something even stronger. Trust in Collins, and trust in your marriage. You've built a life together, and that life is worth fighting for. But you have to be honest with him. He needs to know the truth, and he needs to hear it from you. I'm so scared, Paula. I don't know if I can do this. You can, Diana. I know you can. And I'll be here with you every step of the way. You're not alone in this. It's time to take control of your life again, to stop letting Tony hold this power over you. Tell Collins the truth, and together, you'll find a way through this. Thank you, Paula. I just... I need to find the strength to do this. For myself, for Collins, for our marriage. You've got that strength inside you, Diana. You just need to believe in it. You've carried this burden long enough. It's time to let it go and face whatever comes next. <laughs> Thank you for watching Celia Animations. One more thing, please don't be selfish watching this movie alone.
Kindly share with everyone you can reach for them to also learn a lesson in life as we all grow together. Oh,